Hello guys, in this video I want to show you the Linux Deepin desktop environment running in a Docker container on Windows. Linux Deepin is in my opinion the most beautiful desktop environment that we have on Linux, so let's see how it performs inside of a container. If you want to know how to run the classic Ubuntu desktop environment or Kubuntu, Lubuntu and even the Maui shell in a Docker container, then you can check out my previous video, the link should be somewhere up there or down in the description. Down in the description are all the necessary links as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. First we will build the image from scratch from my docker file like we always do. Then we will start two deep in containers simultaneously. We will connect to the first one using RDP, remote desktop connection, and connect to the second one using VNC. And then we will compare those and see which one performs better. Why two containers? Since Deepin desktop environment is known to have a lot of visual effects and to be a bit heavy on the resources, I thought it would be nice to compare the performance between XRDP and VNC. Now let's start, I have prepared the docker file here. This is it. This image will include XRDP and VNC, so I will set up both of those. I will briefly walk you through this docker file, but not line by line, because it's similar like the one I showed you in the previous video, where I compared in detail RDP and VNC performance, and where I also explained the docker file line by line. You can find the comparison video up there, or down in the description. In this video I will show you the deep in desktop environment related differences. And the first difference is the release that we are using. I tried a bunch of releases and this one Ubuntu Impish was the only one that worked without issues. The second thing is that we need to add the Deepin repository and of course installing Deepin desktop environment. This is not the only thing we are installing, we are also installing the Ubuntu Deepin extras together with Tiger VNC and XRDP here. Now we could combine those two into one run command, but for this demonstration I will leave it as it is. Then our user will be test user and the password 1234. For simplicity this will also be the VNC password. Now down here we need to set some deep in related environment variables and we will use those for XRDP and VNC because both need those. Now all those commands here are XRDP and VNC related so we are setting things up. And then down here we are exposing the port 3389, this is the standard RDP port. And then we are also exposing 5902, we will use this one for VNC. Then we need to start some services, we are starting dbus, systemd login d and then XRDP and also VNC. So we could connect using VNC and XRDP to the same container, like in the previous video where we compared RDP and VNC with the standard GNOME Ubuntu desktop. Now for some reason using Deepin desktop this doesn't work too well, we can only use one of those and that's the one that we use first. Maybe I'm missing some configuration, maybe it's a Deepin problem, I don't know, but this is also a reason why we will use two containers instead of one. All right, let's build the image, go to terminal, new terminal, make sure you're in the right folder and write docker build dash t, the name of the image, I'll call it docker dash deepin, and a dot for the current folder and enter build. This can take some time. Image is ready, let's go over to docker desktop. Here is the image and as you can see it is a bigger one with 4.54 gigabytes. Now let's start two containers, go to run. And the first one will be the RDP image. We will map the port 3389 to the local host because we will connect to the container through local host. Run. First one is running. Now the second one. Again, run. And this one will be the VNC container. This time, instead of the RDP port, we will add only the exposed VNC port 5902. And this will also be mapped to local host. Run. All right, both containers are running. Let's connect to the first one using remote desktop connection. This tool right here, you can find it on any Windows system. Localhost is what we want and connect. We trust. The XRDP login screen, let's log in. Test user and the password, okay. Which mode do we want to use? Well, we want the full experience, so we'll go with effect mode. All right, we are in the deep in desktop environment inside of a container running on Windows. Now let's see what we've got. The first thing you see is this background image here obviously and I kind of like it. And down here you see this dock like panel which is kind of floating. You can make it bigger or smaller or make it efficient. Now you have it more windows like and also move it wherever you want. Let's say we want it on the left. Then we have it here. 
or top, then it's up here, or maybe to the right if you want, but I will keep it at the bottom. Now I will change the mode back, the fashion mode. Now let's start with the terminal. Just right click anywhere and open terminal. All right, let's install htop. We are using 2.4 gigabytes, which is kind of expected for the DPN desktop environment. Now, when you install the DPN desktop inside of a container like I did, you don't get a lot of those usual default applications. Like, for instance, we don't have Firefox here and we don't have LibreOffice, for instance. So, let's install Firefox just to see how it performs. sudo apt install Firefox. And in the meantime, let's see the file browser. Now, look at that. Very polished. I really like that. And there's also this nice detail panel here. Looks very, very professional. Another thing is you can also override the theme here if you want, the dark theme. And now it looks even better. Let's also change the system theme, display settings, personalization, dark. This is beautiful. I love that, definitely. You can tell that this is my favorite desktop environment. Is Firefox ready? Yes. Let's try Firefox. Firefox. Yeah, it takes a bit to open. Let's try YouTube. All right, working. A small lag, but this is normal for RDP. Let's close Firefox. This was RDP. Now let's try the second container using VNC. Let's just minimize this one and keep it running. I will open tight VNC. This is the VNC client that I'm using. And let's connect to the second container and the VNC password. Same thing, effect mode. All right, we're inside the second container. Let me just change the theme here quickly. Now I will move VNC to the right and move RDP to the left so that we have a kind of a split screen. I will close the terminal here, move this one a bit to the left. Now let's try to compare the performance. On the left side is RDP in the first container. On the right side is VNC in the second container. First RDP, move the window around. This is what you get. And now VNC. Much smoother. But a bit window tearing. Let's try to open a terminal here. Here it is. VNC. Here it is. As you can see, RDP lags much more than VNC. But the image quality here in RDP should be a bit better than this one here over VNC. Although I cannot really tell the difference between those two. Now to conclude. In my opinion, Deepin is by far the most beautiful desktop environment that we have on Linux. With this level of polish, I'm in love. Visual effects usually cause performance problems on low-end systems. This is also the case when you run it in a virtual machine or when you run it in a Docker container, like I'm doing now. To get the best experience out of it, I would recommend to use VNC over RDP in this scenario. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, if you like my content, then please subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. It means a lot to me. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much, and I see you in the next one. Bye.